can't do this. Never. Have it your way. Now? Did you know that even one of the greatest animation franchises in history has some absurd mistakes that almost no one noticed? What? That's impossible! This happened in Toy Story 3, in that nostalgic scene where we see Andy pretending that Sheriff Woody is facing the terrible one-eyed Bart, who happens to be Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head's main feature is the ability to remove and reattach body parts, so to play and turn him into one-eyed Bart, Andy takes one of his eyes. But when Andy's mom comes in with the camera, we can see that Andy shows Mr. Potato Head but he has both eyes and is fully assembled, when he should only have one. You gotta be kidding me, bro! Let's agree that this error doesn't match the Disney Disney Pixar standards of quality, right? Uh -huh. You're going to jail, Bart. Ah, watch out! It's from outer space, and she's on a rampage. <laughs> this is the first of the 15 grotesque errors we're going to show you now. Weird shadows. Pocahontas is one of Disney's 12 princesses. In her 1995 movie, we see the love story between the Native American princess and John Smith. And when she needs to go see the captain, her friend leads her by the hand to the place where her tribe is holding him. But notice that when they get close to the spot, they're still holding hands, but their shadows aren't. How long have we known each other? Monsters, Inc. is one of those unforgettable movies. And who doesn't love the friendship between Sully and Mike, right? After all, Mike himself said that Sully was jealous of him since elementary school. <laughs> You've been jealous of my good looks since the fourth grade, pal. <laughs> but is that really the case? In the movie Monsters University, we see exactly the moment when Sully and Mike meet and start their great friendship. So you can see that this was a plot hole between the two films. It must have been a forgetful oversight, considering the 12 year difference between their releases. That was awesome. What am I doing? James P. Sullivan. Mike Wazowski. The Prince's Underwear. Few people will remember Prince Ahmed, one of Princess Jasmine's suitors in Aladdin. That's because nobody likes him, especially the princess's pet tiger, Raja. So much so that he takes a bite right out of the annoying princess behind. <laughs> but here's the mistake. When Prince Ahmed leaves, we can see that his pants are torn, and we can see his underwear full of little hearts. But when we see Raja, he has a piece of the underwear in his teeth, indicating that we were supposed to see the princess bare bottom in that previous scene. What? Oh, that's just creepy. Honestly, it's a good thing we didn't see it. <laughs> we can say that was a harmless mistake. Torn painting. Beauty and the Beast is definitely a classic in both fairy tales and among Disney movies. We know that the Beast is a prince who was cursed, and since then, he and everyone in the castle had their forms changed. And in a moment of anger, we see him tearing his own portrait with his claws, saddened by seeing how he used to be and what he had become. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle. But later, when Belle finds the painting, the tears that were horizontal are now diagonal and much larger, only showing the prince's eyes and his clothing. Did he go back and tear the painting even more? Uh, I don't think so. It's just a small continuity error. White Apron. Continuing with the 1991 classic, we noticed another quick mistake. When Belle tries to prevent her father from being taken, she's not wearing her white apron, which accompanies her throughout most of the movie. But shortly after, her apron reappears. It must have been a minor animation mistake, but we noticed it. You can't do this. Never. Have it your way. Belle? Vanellope's Tooth. During the movie Wreck-It Ralph, little Vanellope needs to relearn how to drive to participate in the race. Her new friend Ralph helps her through this process, but it's not easy. There's a moment when she crashes head-on into her candy-made car, and she simply spits out one of her teeth, smiles, and gives a thumbs up. And we can see that she's toothless, but only in that scene, because later her teeth magically return to normal. Was it a baby tooth? And the other tooth grew super fast? How this tooth magic happened? We don't know. But what we do know is that we love movies, cartoons, and series. If you also enjoy them like we do, comment down below, hashtag tooth, so those who read the comments before watching the video won't understand a thing. <laughs> Upside down fall. Frozen is amazing, that's for sure. But that doesn't mean it's without a few small mistakes. When Elsa creates Marshmallow to chase Anna, Kristoff, and Olaf out of her ice palace. But in the midst of the pursuit, all three of them end up falling from the cliff down into the snowy area. However, have you ever stopped to think that if Olaf fell first, then how is it possible that Kristoff is underneath him? It doesn't make sense, right? The detail is that Olaf falls before Anna and Kristoff. Nothing much of a difference, is it? <laughs> Olaf! Hang in there, guys! Oh, go faster! Magic Flower. In The Lion King, one of the most iconic movies in history, we witness something quite curious happening. When Timon and Pumbaa start singing and dancing Hakuna Matata, we see Timon facing away, 
and when he turns around, as if by magic, a huge flower that wasn't there before suddenly appears. Is this the famous Disney magic? I think so. <laughs> Historical errors in Brave. Brave is one of the first Disney films to have a princess, but no prince, making it historic in that sense. However, the film script has some, let's say, historical inaccuracies that can also be classified as errors. Merida, the protagonist, is a princess in a Scottish kingdom during the 10th century. When you think of Scotland, one thing that comes to mind is the kilt, that famous male garment that resembles a skirt, and many characters in the movie wear it. The issue is that the kilt was only created in the 16th century, more than 500 years after the period in which Merida's story takes place. No potatoes. Another historical error in Brave has to do with potatoes. In banquets and dinners during the film, you can see potatoes being served at some moments. However, potatoes only reach the British Isles where Scotland is located in the 16th century as well. So there's a 500 year delay in the film. <laughs> Reverse name. In Toy Story 2, when the restorer is making repairs to Woody, one of the things he does is try to remove one of Sheriff Woody's most distinctive features, Andy's name on the sole of his boot. To do this, he uses the same paint as the color of the boot and paints over the name to erase it. Notice that the first letter at the tip of the boot is the A, which is the first letter of the name Andy, followed by the other letters, right? But when Woody tries to remove the paint to show Andy's name underneath, we see that the name is in reverse, and the A starts from the back, with the letter near the tip becoming the Y, the last letter of the name, Andy. Another small logic error in a Pixar animation, but we have to say, it's a minor detail, considering Toy Story 2 is one of the best movies ever. Flynn's Handcuffs After being stabbed by the dreadful Mother Gothel, the villain still puts Flynn in chains and handcuffs. And in that moment of anguish, when Rapunzel is worried about her beloved's impending death, Flynn touches his face. So far, so normal. The detail is that shortly afterward, the same arm that was free before now has a chain attached to it. Another little mistake for the list. Elastic Fins This error is almost imperceptible and requires a bit of reasoning to notice. Nemo and his father, the clownfish, are known for not having very large fins, and furthermore, their fins are quite separate as we can see when Nemo's father places them over his eyes, and they don't even touch each other. But after the fight with the Barracuda, Nemo's father finds only a small egg, Nemo's, and notices how Nemo's fins become so large and close together that they overlap. Where did that couch come from? Returning to Frozen, we find another interesting mistake. When Princess Anna is happily singing, she uses a couch as a trampoline, recreating the same scene from the painting as if she's on a swing, which turned out to be a really cool scene. But if you look closely, when she enters the room with the painting, we see the painting, but there's no couch in it, only benches. Could that bench be a transformer that turns into a couch when princesses sing? Those were the 15 most absurd errors ever seen in Disney movies that we brought to you. Leave a comment below about which ones you've noticed before and which ones you had no idea happened. We want to know. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye-bye.